Right on. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm Steve Struggle, um, Revolutionary Internationalist Fighter here in North America. Uh, to, um, today we want to you listen to us on Pantherism, my YouTube channel, and I want to introduce uh, Dr. Abraham Weisfeld. We, we're going to have a dialogue about topics of interest and importance today. Dr. Weisfeld, how's it going? It's a, it's a hard struggle as always, you know, but uh, it's really great to make the, this progress with you. That makes it all worthwhile. I agree. Thank you. So uh, we, um, we were talking before this show began, and you wanted to share some, some updates about political prisoners with people watching our show. Yes, I came across a report about the uh, Black Panther Party uh, political prisoner, H. Rap Brown. And I didn't even know that he was still a prisoner. It was incredible to me to find out about this and, and to also realize the lack of uh, solidarity for uh, you know, political prisoners in the United States. There used to be a time when there was a lot of uh, organizing going on, you know, with Jim Campbell in the 1970s in Toronto, when I worked on, on uh, his publication, you know, which were letters from uh, political prisoners, uh, prison, no prison notes, I think as it was called. And uh, it was the only way, you know, for prisoners to get uh, published. And uh, we did it every month. So, you know, I wonder why, you know, this isn't being done, you know, on a mass scale nowadays. I understand there's a couple of organizations that you mentioned uh, that are concerned with uh, political prisoner support, but uh, generally they're not known about. Uh, what, what are those organizations again? Well, um, I know of three. One is the MEM Prisons. MEM Prisons is part of the project of the Maoist Internationalist Movement, and they actively support prisoners in their struggles against the um, prison administration and also give solidarity to political prisoners, and people can find them on the internet. A uh, second group is the Malcolm X Grassroots Movement. Malcolm X Grassroots Movement, they're also on the internet, and they focus pretty exclusively on African-American political prisoners and prisoners of war. Um, their goal is to, is to liberate um, these prisoners through, through, through legal means, and um, they have been successful and, and recently uh, in helping to obtain the release of uh, a few imprisoned Black Panther members in the, in the East Coast. Mm -hmm. A third group is the Jericho Movement. Again, the Jericho Movement, like online. And their focus also is to support and um, give solidarity to political prisoners inside and to work to free them. So those are three groups I know of. If people watching this show want to want to connect with them, uh, you will find them on the internet. MEM is more of an underground organization, so they might not be. Uh, if you want a mass movement kind of uh, focus, that's not where where to go. But but in the same time, if you want to focus on prisoners and their current strikes and movements against the administration, the lack of the lack of the lack of care for COVID. In prison, how COVID is essentially taking over prisons. You know, men would be a good place to go, also. So I, I do know of three of those three groups. Mm -hmm. One thing I will say about political prisoners: the cause celebs, the cause celebs, get the attention of what I would call the left in the United States. Mm -hmm. Let's say Julian Assange. Uh, let's say Chelsea Manning. Let's say. Uh, with all due respect to 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 this brother um, from the American Indian any movement in lockdown in um, Florida for quite a long time, there's certain people that get attention. Uh, his his name is Leonard Peltier, mm -hmm. but in general, the revolutionary socialist internationalist communist movement, for some reason, has a blind eye to this in general. I found the I find the anarchists are the best in supporting political prisons within the United States. The um, um, uh, anarchist Black Cross, ABC, Denver, and other chapters are excellent. We would have meetings. We would come together on Saturdays at a church or a community center and write letters. That kind of solidarity is very rare to see, but that's really what it takes to get 
that's one thing people will do. They come together and have they they write letters or or, or they do it online. The Party for Socialism and Liberation. I mentioned I'll mention them. They've also taken up in their current um, readjustment to the new situation. They've taken up political prisoner work, uh, had online letter writing meetings. Um, yeah, so there are groups that do do this. Uh, in general, groups like um, the Democratic Social of America, Jacobin Magazine, um, um, the, the, the uh, Swan People, Socialist Alternative. Um, yeah, they don't really embrace the political prisoner movement at all. I, I'm not saying that to talk, to, to critique them, but they don't, they just don't. Um, so this, you know, it, it is a struggle to keep this movement alive and it's an important campaign. Um, it always exposes the FBI, state governments, the courts, police as being perpetrators of conspiracies and an agenda to jail and keep people in jail who are fighters, fighters for liberation. Also, the um, animal, the animal liberationists, um, excuse me, so-called echo, echo fighters, people who who uh, destroy the dams or um, pipelines intentionally, uh, or sit up, have sit sit have um, demonstrations on on in, in environmentally uh, challenging uh, in infrastructure of the capitalists. Also, I also yeah. tend to consider them political prisoners, yeah, because yeah. their po politics is what drives them to their civil, 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 dis civil dis disobedience or active disobedience. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think there's a lot of people who need who need support. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. they they need letters. They need money on on their books or commissary. If 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 you can do that, if you can send them stamps. And, it, and the, people, the general public needs to be reminded of them every month. I mean, just regularly, because without people, people knowing about them, then they can't get the support that they need. Yeah. I've noticed also that the anarchists have done a pretty good job in support of uh, Umi al-Jamala. And, mm -hmm. uh, and then I thought about it again, you know, and I found it to be this sort of a disappointing campaign because, you know, here's H. Rap Bell, you know, in prison as well, you know, getting no mention at all. You know, just because Jumia uh, uh, Ajma, you know, like is is an anarchist, okay? So the anarchists, you know, take care of another anarchist, you know, and that's about as far as it goes. So how come, you know, they're not taking care of, you know, like uh, other prominent, uh, politically prominent uh, political prisoners, you know, like H. Rap Brown as well at the same time, you know? So this is a fault. And, you know, I think that they had this idea that, you know, they were going to do such a good job of it. They were going to get a pardon from Obama when he was leaving office. And then that failed. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That, that, that failed miserably. Yeah. So I think that one reason yeah, why yeah. Obama, you know, wouldn't have, you know, pardoned uh, uh, you know, Jamal is because if he had him pardoned, then he would have had to pardon H. Rap Brown as well. And that he didn't want to do. Well, I think that's, that's a very good, that's a very good point. Now, you know, this issue of Obama and his approach, I mean, Obama's presidency in general, when it came to, to, to he, he would, I think at the time there was some prison reform legislation going on in, in the Congress. I think there was. And um, he was touting that, here I am helping the prisoners, blah, blah, blah. I think he even went to a prison. You know, he actually went inside a prison, which, you know, presidents don't do. Um, so they don't. They put, so, but the point was, you know, um, the campaign to free to for clemency for Leonard Peltier from Obama, it was a miserable failure. Not that it wasn't well intentioned, but he didn't even acknowledge it. Yeah. See, those kept and let me tell you some how this how this how this works. A lot of people don't know how this works. I, I ran across a campaign a few years ago run by a group calling itself something like ex special agents of the FBI. If the if such a group can even exist, I saw it on, I saw it on the internet. So these are the ex FBI agents. I guess they have some kind of federation or something. I don't know loyalty mm -hmm. to 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 their past employer, something. But here I saw a campaign against Mumia Abu Jamal on their campaign. Yes, I did. They said, "Make sure you write letters to keep him in jail." Whoa. So you know, I mean, they're straight up. So you know, Obama's inaction just dovetails with their action. Uh -huh. He didn't. He, 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 
And this is why people critique Obama. They have to be more critical. You have to be critical about what he did not do. Yeah. He didn't do much. Well, I mean, if if people of color, if black people and people of color expected something from him, even let him out of jail, just sign a piece of paper, he's out. But gone. You're out. You know, that's all he had to do. You were you were you were, you were, you were leaving the office anyway. Wouldn't even do that. So I I I have no love for the man. Yeah, no. No whatsoever. Would... Because that's some that would be nothing to do. Yeah, no. Trump has pardoned Trump, pardoned all kinds of war criminals, people who carried out <laughs> massacres in Iraq. He had no problem signing, did he? None whatsoever. Here, I'm letting you out. Yeah. Right? He had no problem, didn't he? None. Yeah. None yeah. whatsoever. Trump would one thing about Trump when it came to what he believed in, he would sign on it and make, make it happen. Obama, yeah. he he didn't really believe in no freedom, no liberation, no no civil rights. No, he didn't be done. He would again he left his kids out of jail. Mm. Just let him out. Here, you're out, you're out, bye. Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 sorry, man. My last day in office. Fuck all of y'all. I'm leaving. I mean, yeah. excuse my name, but you know, that's all he had to say. Yeah. That's all he had to do, right? That's, I mean, it's signing your name. Yeah. Damn hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Even at the end, you know, like he was more loyal to the Democratic Party than he was to the, uh, the Black Nation and, and the American but, people in but, general. Yeah. I, I, but I, I do want to comment on one thing you said about the anarchists with, um, with, uh, uh, with, with Amumia. I know I personally uh, participated in Anarchist Black Cross letter writing campaigns to help um, 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 H. Rap Brown. I've written it myself personally, letters at, at these at these um, campaigns led, led by the ABC. I'm just gonna say I whatever they're doing for Mumia, I've seen them do do activities for for H. Rap Brown. I I I I've been at letter writing meetings. Uh -huh. I've been. Oh, very good. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. that's what's necessary, you know, because you know, like yeah. each each movement, you know, cannot be just in favor of liberating its own political prisoners, and because of that, it won't work. You know, there has to it be unified. You know, like uh, you know, the front, you know, of opposition yeah. to the uh, political prisoners uh, and, and continue to. Uh, and I, I, I think that you know, a, as it, as, it, it as demonstrates, it demonstrates, you know, the how how afraid the state is of their words, you know, and then of their lives, you know, because essentially putting a person into a prison, I can tell you, is like making them dead. You know, they're, they don't exist anymore. That's the idea, you know, and whereas, you know, prisoners, I've been a political prisoner as well. I've done about, in total, about a year. And I tell you, you know, like it took a struggle to get even a, access to a telephone. You know, you weren't supposed to exist anymore. You know, you were like deleted, you know, from society. You don't even get a vote. And then, you know, like you're supposed to be able to, you know, have access to postal services and to write, you know, complaints, you know, to the ombudsman and all that sort of thing. No way, you know, any post is controlled, you know, by the prison. And, you know, like if you want to talk about, you know, internet access and having computer, whoa, or, or a, mo a mobile phone, you know, like, like this is, you know, like all part of, you know, some sort of, you know, like mentality to destroy a person so that they cannot, you know, think of themselves as, the, as being alive anymore. And this is, you know, the most horrible thing. I'm certainly in favor of prison abolition. This is part of the whole movement as well. But it just gets me angry, you know, just to think about, you know, what I've been through in prison myself. I've done two weeks in solitary confinement and hunger strike. They were trying to, they, they would have let me die, you know, which was something that I couldn't care less about at the moment. It's, you know, really something. Prison is really something that has to be taken care of. Well... Okay, so I hope other people, you know, start to do this sort of thing. We used to do other stuff like uh, pen pals, you know, with the political prisoners as well. You know, this is something that can be revived, revived too, because that yeah, yeah, know, still yeah, exists. Yeah, those, those, those letter writing meetings I talked about, the purpose was to either establish a pen pal connection, actually write prisoners frequently, or at least send a letter of solidarity. Yeah. yeah the pen pal, would, the pen pal would help. it helps. It helps them. Yeah, it helps them. It gives us somebody to write to. Come on, man, you're locking this cell, and you know, it ain't. Yeah, because you know, then you I really want. I, you know, like I, I really want. Yeah, yeah, I really want. Thank you for what you just said about prisoners are deleted from society. Yeah. You know that that your letter writing, computer access, mobile phone access is just non-existent. I mean, get. I mean, any the worst place to get sick in this country is is in a U.S. prison. Oh yeah. Yeah, That's the worst place we get sick. Yeah. Don't because it's a good, it's a good chance you won't get no help. Yeah. Or you'll, or you'll come very late in the game. Yeah. 
because like you said, you're supposed to be you're supposed to be deleted from society. Yeah. And that the also the right the the right to vote. Oh yeah. The fact that this take it's so hard to get this changed. Yeah. It's it indicates to cause to me to for a, for a society to say you can't vote after you come out of jail yeah. is to put you into a lower caste, not class, caste of yeah. people. That's yeah. a caste. That's a caste difference. Yeah, it's feudalistic. <laughs> yeah, you know, take take away you're taking away your rights. No, no, no. I mean, I may not like what you're about, but you know, you have to have the right to participate unless some really I, I just don't see how that's legit in my view of what society should offer its its members. Mm -hmm. Participation in what goes down in your society. However the vote is shut up, it should be fundamental. There should be no issue about anybody getting it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mm -hmm. care what you've done. I mean, I'm I don't care what you've done. To me, you should be allowed to vote in prison. Yeah. Should be, prisoners should be allowed to vote. Yeah. Why are they yeah. allowed to vote? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. why? Tell just me, like, uh, okay. yeah. just like students, you know, are allowed to vote, you know, just just because they're not living in their home city. <laughs> yes, yes. So. yes, 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 yes. I, I, I ran across that when I was an organizer in, in the Deep South. And I learned that that was one of the ways that the Republicans and the white supremacists and those who want to control Jerry, who, who, who want to have gerrymandering in their interests, when they always would get, they would always attack students on that basis. You're not at home. Well, that means that my, my citizenship level has changed. No, it hasn't. Yeah. That's a federal law. Yeah. That's a, when they let states involve themselves in voting, it gets all effed up. Yes, it does. Mm. You know, straight up, it's, just, it's terrible. You're right. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that too. That's, that's really important. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this is a, a good introduction to the whole campaign, the whole political area of work here. So, uh, we can continue on from here. Um, would you have any other conclusion to make uh, when we? finish this discussion now well i i think that people who want to get involved first of all should get involved and it should be a um a daily a, week, a weekly or daily commitment here's how you do it you got to commit a certain amount of time on if you can do that to go to websites and read to write people to um commit in some viable way that way, you, it'll, it'll become a habit that you're used to doing, and, it, and out of sight, out of mind won't won't exist when it comes to this issue. Because it's easy to become out of sight, out of mind. Mm. They're in prison. They're in for the out of sight, mm. out of sight, out of mind. So do something. Connect with the organization. Do some reading about political prisoners' histories. Um, just make a connection, and uh, let's let's keep this. In in the forefront and not not in the background. I think that's the best way to do that. Very good. Okay. I, I hope that uh, listeners will provide you know addresses to contact uh, various political prisoners so we can start to build up a list. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I should just make that available. So make 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 some links available in in the chat. Very good. Once, once this is posted. Yeah. Because it, it, it's, it's very, it's, it, it feels good. I'm going to tell you, it feels good writing those letters. It feels good writing those letters. Mm. It, feel, it just feels good. Like you're connecting with, 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 these, with, these, with these human beings who've been there because of what they, because of what they stood for as far as U.S. imperialism. It feels good to reach out to them. Yeah. yeah. That's all I can really suggest, you know. I really do. Okay, so... 